Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 17.5 has finally been released and this is most likely the last big update to iOS 17 before we move on to the first beta of iOS 18 which is now less than a month away. Now in this video I will show you guys some really important settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their device with the new iOS 17.5. Now first of all we're heading under the general settings. Now this is a setting here that you cannot actually change but I suggest everyone checks out this setting once they have updated their device because it's really important. So I head on to the general settings and go to the about section. Go there and stay there for about 10 seconds. That's because every time we get updates on iOS, a lot of the carriers will release also carrier updates. So you wanna make sure you do that, not just now, but every after update of your device, in case there are any carrier updates, they will just pop up on the screen here. You just tap update, and in a couple of seconds, that will be done. You don't need to do anything else. Now that's really important because of course, it will update your carrier settings that way, giving you better connectivity on your carrier. Next will be the beta updates. Now, if you have updated to iOS 17.5 beta, any of the betas, and now that it's done, it has been released to the public, you wanna make sure that you turn off the beta updates. Now, you do that by going to settings, general, and then you have software update here. Now, you wanna do that because now we have iOS 7, actually iOS 18 beta one coming out really, really soon. So probably in the meantime, Apple will release another beta for 17.6. So you don't wanna update to that. You probably wanna wait for iOS 18 beta. So make sure you go here to beta updates and turn them off. And then of course, once iOS 18 beta one is released, you will see the option right here. So you will have then another two options. You will have the 17 beta and the 18 beta. So you wanna go ahead and move to that one. And now let's move on to the new settings that Apple has added to iOS 18. And a few of them can be found right here under the new settings. So if you go under news, you will have here news plus offline mode. Now, if you're using this, you will have a ton of download options. Now, if you go here, I suggest you actually configure these settings because all of these things right here will be automatically downloaded to your device so you can view them offline. Now, what I would do in my case, I will just turn off these right here and I will leave these two on. So the recent stories and my safe stories will be there for me to read them offline. The other ones won't be there. I don't want all that stuff being downloaded and taking up a ton of space on my device. And that's the way I would configure this. Of course, you can configure this based on your needs, but I wouldn't suggest you leave all of these on. Now, one setting that you can also find right here that I really suggest you make sure you have it turned on is optimized storage. Now, what this will do is that it will take way less space on your iPhone when it downloads stuff from the news app. Now, what it does is that it downloads a smaller versions of images that are on those stories, that way taking way less space on your iPhone. So make sure you again, go under settings from here, go to news, download options, and make sure you have turned on optimized storage. Now, as you probably know, with the news app on iOS 17.5, Apple has also added the ability to upload your data from the puzzles that can be found on the news app to Game Center. Now, you might want to do that. You might not want to do that. This is a setting that, of course, everyone will configure based on their preference, but you will find it right here under the news settings. You can go ahead and turn it on or off directly from here. Now, if you use switch control on your iPhone, there will be a new setting that Apple has added. And I would suggest that you actually turn this on. You can find it by going to your settings under accessibility. Here we have switch control. If you have this turned on, then you can go ahead and from here, go to your switches and you will have an option here to ignore invalid switch setups. You can just go ahead and enable this and it will hide alert when the switch configuration setup is invalid. So these are some of the new settings that Apple has added to iOS 17.5. Now here are a few more that I think every iPhone user must have configured the right way 
on their iPhone. One of them here under the App Store, we have automatic downloads. I would suggest that you enable app updates, especially the time when you update your device, because in these days, in the next couple of days or in the next week, a lot of apps will be updated for iOS 17.5. Mostly the popular apps that we use on a daily basis will most of them get a new update, of course, to properly work with iOS 17.5. So you might not want to bother with them and just update them every day. You can just go ahead and turn on here app updates under automatic downloads and you will have all your apps up to date. As we all know, Apple is always big on privacy and one really important setting that I suggest you turn on can be found here under the Face ID and Passcode settings. Go here and you will find stolen device protection. This is a newer setting that has been added with iOS 17.3, then on 17.4, Apple also added this option right here. Now, this will require the security lay all the time, not just when you're away from familiar locations. Maybe you don't use location services on your iPhone, like I most of the time I don't ever turn it on. Then you can use this option right here, and this will add another layer of security to your iPhone maybe when your iphone is stolen or someone knows your passcode they won't be able to change anything on your iphone with that delay and in this case it will happen all the time next up we're talking about siri head on under accessibility and find siri right here here's a setting that i really suggest you turn off always on your iPhone. It will consume a ton of battery out of your iPhone, so make sure you have this configured the right way. And this is the option right here. Always listen for Hey Siri. Now, what this will do is that it will listen for that word all the time. It doesn't matter whether your iPhone is facing down or is in your pocket, it will just trigger Siri every time you say that word. Of course, that will just keep on Siri on your device all the time and of course it will trigger Siri to run probably a lot of times even when you don't want it to so make sure you go ahead and turn that off. Moving on into the battery settings if we go under battery here and we go to charging optimization we will find something called here clean energy charging. This is another setting that I suggest you turn off. Now what this will do is that your iPhone will actually try to reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging your iPhone when lower carbon emissions are available. Now this of course will probably take a lot of time to charge your iPhone. Based on the place you're at, but it will just reduce the speed of your iPhone's charging. So if you don't want to do that, make sure you have this turned off. Next up, we're moving under the seller data settings. So go to seller settings and go to voice and data. Now here we'll have a few different options. As you can see, we have from 5G auto down to 2G. But what I suggest you do here is take a look at your device, at your carrier and the place you use your device the most. If on that place you have very good 5G connection, then you can go ahead and turn on 5G auto. Never, I would suggest this, never use 5G on all the time. Now, what that does is that if you, there's not like a good 5G coverage on that area, it will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. So make sure that when turning on 5G, you actually have good coverage on that area because it will just consume a ton of battery. So make sure, make sure you either use LTE or you use 5G Auto. Also a newer option that Apple has added on iOS 17 is the ability to airdrop simply by bringing devices together. Right here under the airdrop settings, you can find bringing the devices together. This will actually also be very, very annoying. If you have tried keeping this on, this will just come on like sometimes by accident. And of course, it does consume a ton of battery. I would suggest that you actually keep this off. Now the same goes for AirPlay. Right here under the general settings, you will have AirPlay and handoff. Now you can see here we have automatically AirPlay. This also consume it, consumes a ton of battery. Now it's very easy to know which features will consume battery. Features like this that will basically stay scanning all the time for different devices to AirPlay, that of course consumes a ton of battery. You can have it 
on automatic that will just airplay automatically or on ask but even if it's on ask it will still be scanning for devices and then asking you whether you want to airplay the best option in my opinion because we're not like airplaying all the time is to keep this off and whenever you need it you can just go ahead and turn it on Next up, we're moving under the iCloud settings and here's a very important setting that I suggest you turn on on your device. And that's the ability to have access to your data on the web, which means that in a case that you maybe lose your phone or something like that, you can just go to iCloud.com and have access to your data. Things like your mail, your contacts, your photos, your notes, reminders, and even your files, everything can be accessed through the web just by turning it on right here. So you go, you go to your Apple ID, go to under iCloud, and just down here you will have the option to have access to your data from the web. And now that you have updated your device to iOS 17.5, it might be a good time for you to check some really important settings and configure them the right way. One of them, notifications. Notifications play a huge role when it comes to your iPhone's battery life. So make sure you go ahead, check all the apps that you have right here and see for which apps you wanna actually turn off notifications. Just leave notifications on for apps that you have necessary. And of course, a few of them you might just put on the schedule, like these right here will have the scheduled summary. You set up the scheduled summary and choose the apps, which is really great. And then last but not least, we also have the privacy. Now it's a good time to check your privacy, go under privacy and security, and make sure you check a few things. First of all, tracking, see if there is any app tracking you, make sure to turn them off from here. Then you will have things like your camera, your microphone, you can just go ahead and see which apps do have access to your microphone. You can just go ahead and turn them off from here. You will have the camera as well, speech recognition, Bluetooth, your local network, all of these need to be checked and see if you have them configured the right way. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, check your settings, make sure they configured the right way because it's really important for your device, for your usage, and of course, for your privacy. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you found it helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up and of course, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.